All right, welcome to the final lesson of chapter 6631. Basically, everything together. It's uh, being able to use everything you've learned um, along the way, not just necessarily in chapter 6, but um, throughout this book so far, uh, to be able to answer some questions. So, uh, what to do today? I'm not going to be, this is not a long video. I'm just going to kind of tell you what you're doing. Um, so, at home today, what you're going to be doing is answering question 87. Uh, a, B, C, you're going to take a look at uh, what's going on here and answer A, B, and C. Answer question uh, 88, where here's a solution set to a systems of equation. You're going to then put together the two equations. Um, however simple or difficult you want to make those is just fine. Um, you're just going to be making a systems of equation for that. Um, next one, question number 89. Uh, fairly simple, you're just going to fill in the boxes here and what this uh, number should be right here and what this should be right here. So that should be fairly simple for you. Question number 90, uh, you're going to take this question, uh, looks like they have three different telephone options there that you're going to answer A, B, C, and D for. Um, I'm going to go through, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to go through this. This is what you're doing for the next two days, so I'm not going to break this into two videos, just one video here. Question number 91, you got this uh, number right here, it's talking about brownies that they make um, and you know how much money they made and sold and blah blah blah. You're going to figure out whatever rule they asked for or, or what have you. Um, question 92, you're going to answer these and just tell how many solutions do they have. Um, is it zero solutions, infinite solutions? or one solution. Uh, number 93, you've got these three lines um, and you've got to answer what would A and C look like compared to each other. 94, you're going to have to figure out what is the rule for Stevie, what's the rule for Joan, what's the rule for Julio and kind of put that all together. And then you're going to make up your own word problem for that. So that shouldn't be too terribly difficult for you. A few more here to go. Uh, question 95, here's this one. Um, Hect, uh, they want to use Hector's data to estimate how much he'll make um, for 12 years for, um, and all that kind of information. So I'll answer those questions, 96. Answering those questions, well, I went through that really quick, didn't I? Let's try that again. Answering whether these are legal moves or not legal moves that this person's trying to do. 97 over here, um, you've got the tulips for sale problem. You're going to answer that one there as well as question number 98. Um, you know, they use, say use substitution. Um, I think the method you actually want to use there is uh, the equal values method um, because you know y is going to equal y, so you can set the one side equal to the other. So I would not use substitution. I would use equal values for that one. And so there, question 98 is the last one you got to do. So over the next two days now, you're answering questions 87 through 98. Um, and then you'll bring that to uh, class, and that'll be worth uh, the equivalent of two homework videos. Thanks so much. We'll see you later.